What's going on YouTube? It is Greg Luck Fitness here. We are back with the voice. We are back with it all. Starting our day off and our pre-workout meal, we've got this bottle of water, which is... I don't even know. I think it's a... Oh, it's a litre. A litre of water, three bananas in there, hemp seeds, peanut butter and oatmeal. Let's go. Let's get it today. Let's get it. What's going on YouTube? It is Greg Luck Fitness. This is the gutsy vlog in front of a... A line of traffic, but we're on the way to the gym. We're gonna smash some shoulders and triceps. Had our pre workout. We went for is it Cytex Superhero? So we've got that in. Myra's been Myra. Um, yeah, it's so hot as you can see. And I'm squinting like a bitch because the sun's in my eyes. But we're gonna smash it, man. It's gonna be a, it's got to be a better video than yesterday anyway. Because apparently, with the view count, that was terrible. It's only got 33 views on, but um. I've had reports that the video isn't coming up on some people's subscription box, so um, make sure you click turn post notifications on, so when I post up you'll get a notification to your phone or your email address. Right guys, let's smash this workout. As you can see I'm wearing my vest today, and you might think why the hell aren't you topless, you're completely shredded, even though I'm not at the moment. But yeah, the real reason is because in this area that I'm living in, and probably most of the world actually, you get stereotypes to show off if you're walking around topless. But if I was overweight or, you know, medium size build and all that, you know, normal build, you would just get looked at as a normal human being getting a sun. First up, we have the dumbbell shoulder press. As you can see, slight arch in the back bang the traps into the bench and keep your head back. Okay, don't put your head forward because I've done that three times now and it's put me out of training like heavy on shoulders for absolute weeks. Literally, you feel something go in your back. So I've got 36 kg for a set here then, as I will explain now. We had to drop the weight. <laughs> it was too heavy. So that was 9 reps out of 36, I did rest pause and get the last rep, so in total I did get the 10 reps. So now we're going to move it down to 34 and try and see what we can get there. Second set, as you see, we're banging the 34s. Well, I'm not really too bothered if I'm dropping it 2 kilograms after a set, as long as the first set is heavier than last week, if you know what I mean, than the previous session, and as long as the second set is as heavy or heavier than I went last time. So basically an improvement on first, second, third and fourth set is needed each time because it's progressive overload. So I'm really happy with that to be fair. My form was pretty solid on these 34s as well, like considering my right delts playing up and it, it did start to ache. All right, moving on to front raises now. I've actually started doing these both together and that's purely just to try and strengthen my core because as you see, like the symmetry is pretty good on an exercise like this. You can't really go wrong. It's like moving your arm in front here. But hopefully this improves like my core. I'm swaying a bit, but as I get stronger, I won't sway. All right, moving on to side raises, side lateral raises, medial delt raises, whatever you want to call them. I got this technique of Ross Dickerson. I don't know if you can quite see, but I'm leaning towards the one side. And last time we did 8kg, this time 10. So that's a, that's a juicy, juicy 2 kilogram. I mean, when we get into like doing 16 kg, that's when it's going to get tricky, but at the moment it's going good. On this, we did this last time on the bigger cables, I think, so as you can see the score's like a bit different. Um, but yeah, that's a really good exercise, face balls. Alright, last shoulder exercise, we're going for the Arnold press. Like I said before, I put this exercise at the end to really stress the shoulders, to really push myself to do more as this is an exercise you may potentially start on and as you can see throughout my plan it is like that and then bang like I'm doing 24s or whatever I'm doing here as you can see in the results um, soon I'll be doing 30s and that's where the strength's built and that's what people don't do they don't stick to something so the strength doesn't build guys moving on to triceps now first exercise dips got the 10 kg dumbbell this time First choice of exercise is dips. As you can see, I'm kind of rushing these reps and all of that because my camera battery is flashing red. But I have got a 10 kg dumbbell with me at the moment, which is actually really good. Might really try and increase that, try and do it with like 20 kg, four times 10, that'd be so good, man. But I might bring my white belt and just add a plate. All right, rope extensions here, just simple. I like to lean a little bit forward 
and the same on this but as you can see my elbows are staying in the same point and my elbows is the only thing that's moving just to bend I'm coming up a little bit high but it's more of a natural movement for me not to just stop at 90 degrees and here you just see me do a rep of French press on my battery dice What's going on guys, you're joining me at the top of the garden and behind me is a meadow, well in front of me, behind the camera. So what we're doing now is we're eating our post-workout meal. We have got some couscous and some turkey, that's two packets of couscous in there. And then we're going to bang this protein in us as well, it's called after training protein. So it uh, makes sense doesn't it, after training, eh? it must, must be for after training. So as I said in the voiceover that some of the clips look rushed and that's because my camera was flashing red as I forgot to charge it and I had to like rush it so I'd get every exercise in. I fell short on the French press. I couldn't get all of that exercise in due to the camera dying but I got like a rep or something so I'll bang that in just so you can see that I did it. But yeah, as you can see, I beat all of the scores again which I'm extremely happy about. Strength's progressing every single time and Tomorrow we have got start of week three, which is back and biceps. So yeah, let's get this tan. Whoa. It's currently 10 past four, which is probably the highest it's gonna to be today. The sun is directly above outside in the garden. Um, so I will need to start leaving this camera inside as it is starting to get really hot and my phone as well. So I've had my, my meal there, it's all gone. And now I'm mixing up a protein shake, the one that you saw. So I think it's like 20 grams of protein in it or something and obviously we've got like leucine in there or glutamine. It's got all the BCAAs basically that you need for uh, after training. So the feet's coming on really good isn't it? It's getting really really good now. It's getting very um, juicy. Alright guys, next up we are going to go to Morrison's and what are we going to get? Tell me someone, tell me what are we going to get? <laughs> tell me. What? You don't know? We're going to get a smoothie obviously. Obviously, my go to Sainsbury's actually, <laughs> they're a bit cheaper in Sainsbury's and the strawberry and banana kills Morrison's one. So we're going to get that and I think I'm going to go to Tesco and get some um, almond milk as well. So it's a little walk in the sun, better than just sitting there and like getting fucking burnt. Little shopping haul here, we went for the innocent pomegranate magic, pomegranates, blueberries and acai. It's a good stuff this is man, that's what I keep getting told anyways. Better than Sainsbury's apparently. Uh, Oreo peanut butter flavour ones. And we've got some bagels because they're on sale and they're just beast. Right, we're going to get a little bit more sun on the old skin and then we are going to get to the computer, get editing and get this video up. It's currently five minutes to five. Probably stay out in the sun until about six or six or something when it starts to die down a little bit. Even though it won't die down until like eight or nine, the way it's been going. And then I'll get editing. Hopefully, like, it gets up, man. Hopefully, it gets up today. The problem is, with my computer, it takes like four hours to render a video. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're now going to wrap this video up. This probably isn't the best idea. And over here on the Greg Lock Fitness channel, we do like to take risks. But we've got the laptop here, and we're actually going to try and edit it in the sun so we can get it up for you guys tonight. Thanks a lot for all the support. Thanks a lot for all the new subscriptions. Keep them all coming, guys. We're going to reach out to as many people as we can in this journey and make as many strength gains as possible, as it is the third week tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Peace.